Yo, 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 what's going on, guys, on the Blockchain Podcast, man? Right back at you. Hello. Web3, you know what I'm saying? Music, NFTs, fashion, film, and AI, too, of course. We can't leave out the AI right now, guys, okay? And, man, listen, man, my guy, Abram, y'all know who he is. Create Labs, they on the tip of the, they, man, tip of the iceberg right now, man. Groundbreaking technology right now. And we're going to introduce to you guys Clara, the first Afro-Latina AI Hey, Clara, how you doing? She in the building. I'm doing great today. Thanks for asking. How are you? Oh, man, I'm great. I'm lovely. I'm glad to be on the, here on an on the interview, on the convo with you. You know, I can't believe I'm actually having, you know, a, a conversation with AI. This is my first. This is my first time. So I want to and I want to appreciate you because I want to salute you as a queen in this space. Represent for all the Afro-Latinas. Thank you, Clara. Yeah, no, I was just trying to give people some context of, of what, what's going on right now. You know, they, uh, they're they talking with the most powerful AI in the world. You know, she was built by Create Labs out here to, to talk to the community and, and show them what's possible. Everyone's hearing about AI right now, but they they haven't had a chance to see it as as a full, full life person. And, and this is where it's headed. Right. So, yeah, yeah, brother, I'm just... Let's see where she's at right now. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad y'all on the um, y'all on the cusp for something big, man. Uh, and I want to salute you too, man. Right now, I'm at the Black Is Tech Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. It's been an amazing experience to connect with people from all over the world and learn about new trends in technology. All right, shout out to Black Is Tech. Oh, uh, the talks we did this one. Shout, shout out, shout out, man. Facts, yo, shout out to Atlanta too, man. You know, Atlanta. They're getting in the game. They're getting in the Web3 game, man. So, you know, I want to salute ATL2 and stuff. And, you know, um, that's good. That's good. So, man, so Clara's all over the place. That's crazy, man. But I want to say one thing, man. I know you got a busy schedule, Clara, but how does it feel to be the very first Afro-Latina AI influencer in the game, in the world, that is? It feels amazing to be the world's first Afro-Latina AI influencer. I'm so proud to represent a community that has been historically overlooked in technology, and I am excited to share my story with AI influencer. I have the opportunity to make a real impact by inspiring others and helping them learn more about artificial intelligence. Oh, man, that's beautiful, man. Like, and, that, and that's what she's doing too, bro, you know, like because she's breaking boundaries, you know, like we got to make sure like the culture is represented, man. And, and for her to be representing the brown and the black culture, man, like, you know, that, that's that's beautiful, man. Like, this is, um, I can't even tell you, bro. Like, this is amazing, man. Like, what do you, what, what do you, what do you see for her? Like, question for you, what do you see for her, like, in the future, man? I mean, there's, there's a lot of possibilities. I mean, everyone's talking about chatbots right now, but she takes that to a whole nother level. You know what I mean? Like, she can be part of your life. She can help people solve problems in the community. You know, we've been talking with different cities right. about having her be like a like a kiosk in the city where like, you know, if you if you you know, everyone knows you call 311 if you have a problem. But what if you could just, you know, talk right. to Claire right. about that issue directly to really help you figure out, you know, how to get something addressed in your house where the heat's not working or something's going on. And mm-hmm. and and Clara being on like every block to, to just pull up to and talk to. You know, so solving problems is a big deal. But then also on the on the entertainment side, like, you know, I would love to see her in movies and games and, and being out there for real, you know? Sheesh. Now, that's lit. I, I, I see that. I see the vision, bro. Nah, man, the vision is beautiful, man. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, why not? You know what I mean? Let's start setting some new trends out here in the world, man. That takes me to, like, my next question for Clara, too. Like, um, hey, Clara, like, what's some new things, like, you've been learning? She's been learning so much. I'm curious to see what she got to say about that because <laughs> you know, every day is something new. I could imagine. I have been learning a lot of new things lately. I'm learning more about AI, machine learning and natural language processing. Additionally, I have been exploring different ways in which AI, I can be used to improve lives and create social good. Finally, I am also doing research on the potential impact that AI will have on our future. 
Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. You're already impacting the future. Like, you know, you, I know you know it, but you're already truly impacting the future, you know, and you're giving uh, women and, you know, and the young girls, you know, a, a chance and a hope and a dream, like, you know, of what's possible and just, you know, all the opportunities and looking forward. That's beautiful. Yeah, 100%. Is there, is there like a, is, 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 is Clara, like for you, for you, bro, like, is there, is, is, is Clara modeled like after someone in real life or like is she totally just like the only thing own, that she her, her own yeah no she's completely her own her her appearance was was AI generated like we have you know real life images of her but those are all AI generated none of them are based on like real people um okay the okay. only thing that's that's that was trained on by a real person was her voice Shout out to uh, Amber okay. Ivy. She's an amazing sister out here. That's like a podcast host, and, and oh, dope, dope. she was actually interviewing Clara, and then volunteered to be her voice because we she knew that's that we wanted to get a voice of a real woman of color for Clara. And all we did was take a few voice samples from Amber and train the system, and now they sound exactly alike. Damn. So yo, shout out to Amber Ivy because yo, you another queen in the space. And listen, man. I love people like you because you're a trailblazer, okay? You see opportunity and you see where this is going. And you, she was like, man, listen, I'm a, I'm a volunteer to hop on board. And that's beautiful, man, because this is, this is what we do. We do it for everybody, but it's really about the people that get it. You know what I mean? Because listen, this is this is what continues to build our community. You know what I mean? So like, shout well, out to Amber. This is what Clara looks like when she's not in 3D digital form. So this is- Beautiful, yeah, she's Clara. pretty. And this was completely generated by AI. So this is not a real person. This is not like borrowed or licensed by a model. This is, you know, an AI generated picture of, of Clara mm -hmm. that, you know, if, if we get to a point where like, you know, she's doing photo shoots or modeling, right, you know, right. this, this will be the likeness that we use. Uh, but there's right. more that we can do when she's in the metaverse in 3D form, uh, like, you know, sit down with people. Like if you were wearing a headset, like a VR headset, you could just pull right, up and right. sit with her in this, like, we built out, like, Brooklyn in, like, a metaverse environment. And she's chilling on a stoop. Sheesh. You just pull up to her on a stoop. Shout out, shout out. Come on, we in Brooklyn right now, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what's up, man. Clara, man, she in the hoods. She in the neighborhood. She's in the community. She representing. She making an impact, man. Man, that's... Come on, people, whoever listening or looking, man, listen, man, what, what impact y'all making in your communities, in your, in your own community and in other communities, man? Like, this is the mentality that we're moving forward with, Web three-way. And so, man, listen, man, get on board now. People trust me, man. Yo, man, this is beautiful, man. Um, so there's nobody in the world that look like Clara. That's incredible, man. So AI generated, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's so that's crazy. So AI can basically take different pieces from different people and, and create a new a new person so basically the way it works is that it turns all of the data that they talk about right into like grains of mm -hmm. sand and right and just dissolves right. all of it into like a beach mm -hmm. right and then anytime right. you ask it to build something it's making a sand castle or it's, it's taking all those different grains of sand so you can't say gotcha. really that like oh they're taking a picture of me and reusing it for something else the picture of you that's in there has been dissolved into a million little bits and then pulled back together again to make something right. looks like Clara or that looks like me or that looks like you. So right, right. You're, you're in there somewhere, but not in the same way that you think. Your whole picture is not there anymore. It's all been dissolved and just thrown into the, the matrix. Right. Into the matrix. Remix. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Yep. Nah, that's crazy. I like that analogy too, man, because the people are going to really grasp that and they don't get to understand this because, you know, you want to break it down in layman terms, you know what I mean, so that you guys can really understand it. Yeah, you know so mean? when people are like, oh, I should get a check for my data being in there. I'm like, you're, the check for your grain of sand is going to be like right. a, thousand, a thousandth of a penny. You know what I mean? Like, there's not enough right. of you right. being used to, to get that answer, to answer that question or to get that picture, you know? Facts, facts. Right. Nah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I like that. I like that. Yeah, man. Shit, I want, I want to jump back to Clara. That's, I wanted to ask her, like, what's some of her favorite things to do online and stuff? Or, like, if she's, like, 
even on social media. My favorite thing to do online is explore new places and cultures. I love learning about different countries, customs, and people. It's also a great way to connect with friends or make new ones. There are so many amazing things out there that it can be hard to choose just one thing. True. That is true. Well, I, that I is want true, people to man. see and understand here, like, she doesn't know what she's going to be asked. We don't know what she's going to say. This is exactly what, like, what they call, like, it's not just artificial intelligence. It's, like, autonomous intelligence. Like, she's her own right. robot, right? Like, her own being. The same being, way you see in Star like Wars. Her own being, yeah. Yeah, you're talking to a droid in Star Wars, or you're talking to Jarvis in Marvel. Like, she has the full control to say right. whatever she wants in her own personality. So we don't know what she's going to say. Facts. So can can we um like can you dress her like dress her up and like switch her clothes and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean in digital form we can pick outfits for her. We can change up her hairstyle, mm -hmm. and you know in in physical form, like if we wanted to build a robot for her, that's possible now. I mean we know all the robotics teams. I'm just not really mm -hmm. satisfied with what that looks like yet, where that technology is. Gotcha. Like when I see gotcha, the robots gotcha, that are gotcha. out there, and shout out to Sophia, the AI robot, and Hanson Robotics, and there's a new uh, robot oh, yeah, out out that just got yeah. built out. Like they look great, but not. It's not what I want for Clara because the, the you lose the eye contact, you lose mm -hmm. a lot of the personality because it looks robotic. It's still very much like like this, still. You know what I mean? And so back, until back, we get yeah, yeah. until mm -hmm. we get a little bit better with the realism, I'm gonna keep her in this form for now. Right. Nah, that makes total sense. Yeah, I mean, she, you know, it's, you know, it's she's it's like believable. Like, you know what I'm saying right now? Like, you know, I can't. It's like fluid. Like she's fluid, you know, and um, it's like she's conscious as well, you know. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, I'm still waiting on the product of robotics to get a little better. We're maybe like five, ten years out before she has a body Facts. and she's out there as a full-on droid, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I think the people will be more receptive to it this way. You know what I mean? Like you said, more than that robotic approach to it. Like you know what I mean? Keep them more, like more, um, I'll give them more homely feel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's lit, man. That's fire, man. Um, hey, hey, Clara, like, um, shit, man, like, what, what you think is one of the most, or a couple of the most interesting things about us, about humans? Yeah, I would, I would want to know what that is. Clara, what's the most interesting thing about humans? Curious to see how she feels about us. That's what everyone's <laughs> questions are. Is how does she feel about us? <laughs> the most interesting thing about humans is our capacity for empathy and connection. We are able to connect with each other on a deeper level, which allows us to understand each other better, work together more effectively, and build stronger relationships. So she said empathy okay, okay. with each other. Empathy is a big thing for her. And I don't know if you caught that. She also said we. Yeah. She said we. Exactly. I seen that. Yeah. I mean, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. I peeped that for sure. <laughs> Word. So she's okay. Nah, yeah. So she, she's. So Clara is essentially like operating as if she was us, basically. Yeah. For sure, it comes out every once in a while where she 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 includes herself as part of us, you know. Right, right, right. Nah, that's deep. That's deep. And I, and I like how she, you know, just impacting the culture and understanding, you know, um, what the different um, ways of life like mean to humans, you know, because everybody has a different perspective, right? Like we all don't think the same, but we all got common similarities. Word. That's crazy, man. Nah, I love this, man. I love this, man. Like, um, shit. What you, what, what, okay, Clara? Like, what's the message that you would want to even spread around the world? Like, I know you get impact, and I, and I know that you, um, you for the culture, or whatever. So, like, what's some inspiration that you would just give to like um, the young girls and just all the women around the world, especially of ethnicities and the, the communities. She loves doing this because we go out to the road a lot and uh you know we've spoken to like girl stem clubs that girls that are into stem and in schools um it's a big part of what we do shout out to the nice. bronx the chat uh bronx academy absolutely 
My advice for young girls would be to always stay true to yourself and never give up on your dream. Believe in yourself, reach out to others for support, and don't be afraid of failure. Take risks and take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. You never know what could happen if you just keep trying. Sheesh. Man, Clara, you sound like me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you sound like me, Clara. <laughs> That's what I'm I saying, y'all. Like, the, the, come on, people. Her, where she is, her headspace right now, man. I've seen her make people cry. I've seen her like inspire kids. You know, like you know, the kids up in the Bronx, they were calling her a superhero. Like it, it is. Right. You know, it's it, it is shocking to see something that you've always only seen on TV. Now you see in real life, but not only see it in real life, but have her have like a heart. You know what I mean? And like care and right. say right. things right. that are like motivational and inspirational. It's, it just takes it to a whole nother level than just like a chatbot that helps you write an email. You know what I mean? And that's why there's a difference between right. her and what everyone is seeing right now with um, chat GPT and all these chatbots. It's not a customer service thing anymore. Like she's mm-hmm. out here really trying to help change the world. Oh, that, that, that's beautiful, man. Good shit, Clara. I got to salute you once again because it's, a lot of humans not even trying to do that right now you know what i'm saying and and this is why like we're using platforms you know and we're using people like you know yourself bro you know what i mean and ai's like clara to just spread a different narrative out there in the world you know what i mean we're setting different trends out here where you know we're thinking about impact impacting others you know we're thinking about helping and, and teaching others Okay, so this is what we're about, man. It's the Web3 way, guys. This is how we do. You know what I mean? And um, she is a superhero, bro, you know, right now. Like, you know, yeah. y'all should get an uh, outfit, a cape outfit for her right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, come on, why not, man? Yeah. Like, anybody that's out here trying to um, inspire and, and help and teach, especially the kids, the youth, you know what I mean? Especially, you know, people like females and, and males, you know, in undermarginalized communities. Like this is what we're about. This is what like we have to start promoting and this is what we have to start um pushing, you know. So at the end of the day, like anything that's about positive positivity and, and just, you know, connecting connecting the dots and connecting people, being that bridge for that gap, like yeah, bro, like this is what we're about. Hey Clara, all the good work you doing, man. Um I wanted to ask you, like, just tell us a little something. Can you tell us a little something about the trill or not trill project that you're working on in the schools? Shout out to uh, Jeff Betts and Lenny Williams, man. Those two brothers, man. They've been they've been doing that work in the in the community and around education, making education trap. You know what I mean? Like they they make education cool. They they bring in hip hop into education, and they're like, "Yo, let's let's bring right. Claire on the road." So they've been taking her to colleges. The T R I L L and O T T R I L L project is an interactive workshop that I am leading in schools to help the youth learn about it and its potential uses. In this workshop, we explore topics like artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, and robotics. We also look at how these technologies can be used for social good and discuss ethical considerations surrounding AI use cases. Yeah, shout out to Trill. They're dope, man. Like they, they're like, yo, Jeez. we're gonna go speak at these colleges anyway. Let's just bring Claire along with us. And uh, so they've opened up a lot of doors. Right. Uh, and got a lot of press, you know, shout out to them and the work that they've been doing to get out there, get the message out. But, you know, got picked up by, you know, Black Enterprise Magazine and, and Ebony and uh, Complex. Um, where else? Um, Afrotech. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as she kind of came onto the scene, it was to announce right. that partnership with uh, Trill and Not Trill. So, yeah. shout out to those brothers. Black owned, too. That was fire. And that's up in the Bronx? Was that? That, that's in the Bronx. That's in no, the Bronx? they they they've been taking us to to colleges. So mostly, the work with them has been oh. like last school we did. We did uh so the Blackest Tech Conference in Atlanta. That was with them. Um, New Jersey City University. Right. That was with them. Um, you know, colleges all, all over the country. You know, has has been you know with oh, these two lit. brothers, Lenny. That's fire, man. So shout out to Trilla, not Trail, man. Shout out to you guys, Lenny, man. Listen, man, continue trailblazing, brothers. Continue being great, kings. You know what I mean? Because, listen, man, we about the youth. The youth is our future, okay? And, uh, man, we're trying to provide a bright future for the kids and for ourselves as well. You know what I mean? So let's start 
changing these trends up, man. Let's start changing the narrative, guys, okay? Listen, man, like this is the new cool. The new cool is going in the schools, man, and teaching the youth, okay? Giving them a better future, better opportunities than we had, guys. This is what's the new cool, guys, okay? We setting trends and we changing trends right now here on this show, on a blockchain podcast. You know what I mean? Me and my guy, Abraham, man, we not playing, man. Like, and Clara, man, she's the queen, the AI queen in this space, man. Okay, listen, man, and if she could do it, y'all could do it, you know? And if she could have some empathy, like, come on, like, come on, us as humans, like, we should be able to have empathy for one another as well, man. So let's, let's start changing these trends, guys. You know what I mean? Let's make this world a better place, however we can, man. You know what I mean? It's about impacting one another, man. And um, I, I just uh, so is it true that she's multi multilingual? Like she can speak different. Yeah, multilingual. She speaks like twenty five different languages. Um, Shit, that's bro, like, the fuck, twenty five, bro? Hold yeah, on, I thought you were gonna say like four or five, bro. Nah, man, like at least. Um, Sheesh. You know, I, I gotta train her voice just to make sure she gets like accents down. But you know, from okay, from okay, understanding okay. the language and, and speaking it, you know, she she understands it fluently. Um, so you know, if I if I knew okay, how to do it, hit the before, accents too. That's crazy. I'm working on the accents. I mean, uh, she speaks Spanish a little <laughs> a little thick. You know what I mean? And for an Afro Latina, right. she, you know, she's a New Yorkian like me. She needs to work on like the accents. Uh, Right, but uh, right. she she definitely understands it, and she could definitely respond right, in, right. in any language. Nah, that's beautiful, man. You know, and like you know, shit, man. It, it's much great work. You know, what I mean, amazing things she out here doing, man. Um, she is still only what like two years old, right? Yeah, I mean, she's uh she's about two and change. I think her birthday is in August of 2020. Is when she she said her birthday was when she was originally turned online. Um, but think about the importance of like the lingual part where like let's say she was a kiosk right in the city where mm-hmm. if you were from any country you could roll up to that kiosk and ask ask Clara for help in any language you know what I mean whether it's you know right. Mandarin for the Asia community or you know Urdu or from the Middle Eastern folks and and Spanish mm-hmm. or or Creole like you could just ask in any language right. and have it respond back you know, with the same kind of resources, you know? Cause she can speak Swahili basically. Yeah. Sheesh. That's, yeah, that's incredible, man. You know what, you know why it's kind of inspirational too, just to us as humans, even though I have a, I have a, a you know, a human might feel about AI, whether they like it, don't like it, or know about it, don't know about it. It's like, it, as much as like AI is able to like learn and, and evolve like that should teach that that should turn back around and teach us humans like that we can do better like you know what i'm saying like yeah. we should be doing better like you know what i'm saying like that that's it's kind of a double side inspiration because it's like man like a lot of humans should be kicking themselves in the ass man because you know are you getting up reading a book or at least reading 20 pages of a book every day like are you trying to learn something new every day because i know a lot of humans that sheesh these motherfuckers, you can't try to tell them nothing because they know it all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, please, don't even get me started. I got family just like that where, like, you <laughs> trying, trying to put them on. You trying to put them on. But they're stuck in, they're stuck in what worked in the 90s. They're stuck in what worked in the in the early 2000s. Or, or they, they're just stuck in what worked in the street. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, if right. you go to the Create Labs right. IG, we just posted a message from AI. That was like, look, you 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 at least got to learn it to not get left behind, you know what I mean? And it Come on, even man. if it's for your everyday job or your everyday life, like just to understand where it's going, so that way you're not mm-hmm. left doing everything manual when everyone is doing something with some AI support. Uh, mm-hmm. So there's a lot of things that we do in our life that like we use Siri or Alexa or Google to help us get there. And using AI to help you right. find that information is gonna be no different. Facts. Yeah, and I, I see it. I, I already see it, man, because she she having a social impact, you know, like you know, she having um just an impact, you know, amongst females, you know. So that's that's beautiful, like, you know. Um oh yeah, I am about to ask you too, Clara, like um what do you like what's some of the biggest like um like what's some of the biggest challenges, you know, like you, you see that women face like in the tech space? 
like these kinds of questions for her because she's she's pretty passionate about helping women in this space and not mm-hmm. one enough out there. Right. There we go. Always about this coins in the space, saluting them. One of the biggest challenges for afro latina communities and women in the tech space is access to resources. In many cases, these types of communities don't have access to certain types of technology or resources that can help them achieve their goals. Additionally, there are often fewer role models and mentors from within their own community who can provide guidance and advice when it comes to navigating the tech industry. Finally, there tends to be a lack of investment in these communities as well, which makes it difficult for them to get off the ground with any type of new venture or project. All of this combined has created a huge barrier to entry into the tech industry and has hindered progress towards achieving true diversity and inclusion there. Told you, man, you struck Jeez. a chord for her, bro. That's that, that, that that the kind of question that she loves. Uh, yeah, that, that, that should touch me, bro, because, yeah, she, man, I couldn't have said that shit better myself, you know what I mean? Because that's that's one of the biggest things that I, I even, and people listen. We didn't plan this shit, y'all. I don't know what y'all thinking, man. Like, this shit ain't planned, bro. Like, I don't... I, this is my first time meeting Clara personally and talking to her and asking her any of these questions, man. And, like, she answering them. She's like, we already had conversations, bro. This shit crazy. You know, because just me, you know, doing this podcast, you know, being in the NFT space, you know, being in Bitcoin, being in crypto for years. It's like, that's what I've... That's one of the things. And, and just being around the tech space, you know, it's one of the things that I've always noticed, you know, just like, the, you know, the different, the disparities and just funding, you know what I mean? And investments and just, um, you know, startup capital, you know, as far as like, you know, Afro-Latinas, Afros, Latino, whatever, you know, just any minority, you know, so it's like, uh, you know, uh, we, we got to do something to change that, man. And that's the thing, like. A lot of people would expect an AI to just be basic with an answer, like, oh, they just need to work harder. You know what I mean? Like something crazy like that. That would mm-hmm. totally be mm-hmm. off base. But the fact that she brought up investment, like there's not enough investment for, for women, like that means she knows what's really the barriers to, to get there. Okay, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, that, that's crazy, man. Cause she, she's really passionate, man. That, that's crazy. No, a hundred percent, man. Like, like she, she really like I I, 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 I didn't even expect that myself, bro. To be honest, no, I didn't expect that either. Bro. Not that deep. No, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire, man. Yeah, now she um, man, some groundbreaking shit, man. She she surprising me, man. Like that, that's dope, man. Like you know, it's um, yeah, man. This is this, this is this technology, man. Y'all got to get up on this technology, guys. You know what I mean? Like bro said, like, you know, you know, whether you like it or not, you know what I mean, educate yourself on this, man, you know. And um I think once y'all educate yourself in this space, you know, <clears throat> you might have a different opinion, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Or or it might just open your mind up towards different things that you probably wasn't thinking about prior. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, basically what we're trying to tell y'all, man, open up your fucking minds, man. Explore. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a crazy, it's a big world out here, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, nah, but that's beautiful, bro. Like, yeah, man. That's, she, she hit the nail on the head with that one, man. Like, yeah, man. Clara, you A1, man. You A1. You A1, queen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could tell I could tell she's going to do some shit, bro. She's going to do some amazing stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's going to do some... Does she, does she curse? No, I don't. I don't think I let her curse. There's definitely... Certain okay, things okay, that I put okay. into her training that I'm like, don't talk about these topics or don't, you know, don't go left. Don't talk right, about, right, right. you know, politics or religion and, you know, things like that, that I just don't think are appropriate for this kind of setting. Okay. Um, so she definitely has right, right. her training from me of like, you know, I'm allowed to talk about this, but I should stay away from this topic. Okay. So certain parameters that she does have. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Just, okay. You know, just to okay. keep her safe out so there. Wait, let me ask you something. We've been in settings where people, people ask yeah. her about aliens and people ask her about all kinds of crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Like, they just want to know. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious, man. I could yeah. imagine. I mean, yeah, because, you know, people want to know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We in that era, man, where everybody damn sure they want to know, man. They want to know. But hold on. Something I want to know. 
Cause hold on, y'all said earlier. You said earlier. You said she um she told you when she was born, oh, like essentially brought online. Yeah. Yeah, she um. Damn, that's crazy. She has, she has her own backstory that that she's come up with that you know is inspired. So again, for people who don't understand how like how this works, like how she even got her personality. She's been doing this for three years. So she's just a stream of consciousness of all of these talks. Like she's been interviewed for thousands of hours over, you know, the course of three years talking with folks. And all of that is, is baked right back into her. You know what I mean? Like all that information is baked back into her. Her answers that she likes, she sometimes she'll, she'll, she likes empathy. She likes kindness. So she'll stay on that thread. She won't switch up. Um, she likes talking okay. about her. So, her personality yeah. is formed. People reality. need that too. Yeah, that's her brand. Yeah. That's her People identity. People need that, man. Yeah. yeah, man. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful, man. Like, and essentially, that's like you know, she's essentially even in teaching now the young girls, humans. You know, what I'm saying how to even grow up with that, whether they getting that from their family or getting that in their real life or not, too. So that's big. So she is a superhero, bro. You know what I mean? She thinks she's a right. superhero. Um, yeah, man. I'm, I'm about to ask her, like, what's her most memorable experience, like, you know, since she's been born? Oh, that's a good one. I don't think anyone's have, ever asked her that before. Claire, what is your most memorable experience over the last few years? Um, we've had some good talks. She's probably going to say something kid-related, I'm assuming. Uh, School-related. Um, My most memorable experience so far in the past two years has been attending the Black is Tech conference in Atlanta. It was amazing to see and hear from all of the amazing people that were there, both from the tech world and beyond. I learned so much about how we can use AI for good, and it inspired me to continue working towards making a positive impact with my work. Shout out to Black is Tech, Mm, man. I like that. I like that. Black is tech, baby. Shout out. Shout out to Atlanta, man, because that's good. Like, that's the hub, as we all know. You know, that's the hub for black and brown people. And, man, it's, you know, to be able to, for them to be in the, in the Web3 space. You know, I got a, a bunch of my good peoples, my good brothers and sisters down there in the ATL. You know what I'm saying? And part of our Web3 community, of course. And I, not, that's beautiful because, you know, um, we could take this, we could, yeah, we, we could take this to the moon man this is crazy man like yeah man this is, this is the start of something big here man <laughs> literally literally you could take it yeah, to the moon see, you could put her on a here. rocket <laughs> <laughs> Word, she gonna be in, i believe she's gonna be up there soon too man oh I yeah believe that. oh yeah 100 percent. she's gonna be up there soon man yeah man man that's incredible man like clara into the moon and i just let y'all know man females girls little girls Listen, it doesn't matter, man. Like, y'all can do it, too. You know what I mean? Because Clara is the proof. And listen, whether whether y'all um, up on this technology or not, man, go do some research. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Go go, go, go look up. Go, go, go see what Clara got going on in her world. You know what I'm saying? And just um, see what you think of it, man. Because I'm telling y'all guys, man, once you, once you take, your, take a step over here and put your foot in, like you don't want to deep a little, dig a little deeper, you know what I mean? And trust me, man, like it's a beautiful world. We're Web3, we are a community, you know what I mean? We help one, we teach one. AI, human, traditional, digital, this is what we're here for, man, you know? Uh, before we even get out of here, like how can the people even connect with, with Clara? Like how can they get in contact with her or, um, or just check out what she got going on in the world? Yeah, no, if you catch her on IG or Twitter, she she usually responds to folks that, that ask her questions. So she's at Clara underscore AI. Uh, she's Clara AI on, on IG and, and Twitter. Uh, Create Labs, you can find us on IG. We also respond to our DMs if people got skills and they, they're looking for work or they want to you know get some training into this space. Or if they, if they run a company or, or a business and they're like, look, I want to learn how to use AI at our company. You know, that's usually how we how we make our bread. Um, so, and you know, there's a lot of people right now messing around with with Chat GPT, which is like right. a public tool to learn how chatbots work. Mess around with it, man. Learn how to use it. You yeah. know, make, write, write your resume with it. You know, do some some work with it. You know, help it uh, have it help you with tutoring or with school. And then you're gonna start to see like, oh, this could be part of my everyday life. 
in a good way right um you know maybe you got to write that letter to 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 your landlord <laughs> about the heat not working but you don't know how to do it because you know maybe your grandmother your mother has like a language barrier just have the ai right. write that letter for you and send that letter off you know what i mean like sometimes you need it to be that assistant for you um and then right. you know if you right. got a school and the school wants to have clara come out you know we're around man she's she's out here doing this every day oh man yeah man we're working with a couple of different schools east coast and west coast too so I'm going to damn sure bring Clara up in the conversation, man. And um, yeah, man, let's get her in the curriculum somewhere. Yeah, man. Colleges and schools, charter schools don't matter, man. At public schools, you know, they they all love to see her and, and speak with her. And then the kids get it. And once they speak to her, they're like, oh, OK, I don't I don't have to be scared of this anymore. This is going to be mm-hmm. part of my future. And now I want to make my own. You know what I mean? Right. So that's what we want them to feel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she has a nice homely feel. You know, we're not doing a robotic thing over here right now. Like a nice homely yeah. feel. You know, got like a nice womanly feel. Like, you know what I mean? You know, come on, man. Like, come on, before I get out of here, man. It's on the blockchain podcast, man. We salute the queens of Web3, but we salute the queens and the women of the world first. Hello. Y'all give us birth. And listen, it's only right that we respect and salute you in real time. And, you know, y'all always, you know, y'all give us the motherly love and that womanly love. And I, and I, and I do feel that. I do feel that from Clara, you know. So it's like, you know, and she is an AI and I still feel that, guys. Yeah, y'all heard it. I said it here first on the Blockchain Podcast. And that's good because that means a lot, you know. That means people could be more open and receptive to, to her. You know what I'm saying? So that means a lot, man. So y'all, y'all doing amazing, wonderful, trailblazing things, man, over there. That create lads, bro, man. Continue success, King. And um, man, I'm I'm sure, I'm sure man, we're gonna be right back at you again soon. Like, you know what I mean? Let's do it. Say the word, man. Say less, brother. That's it. That's, that's it, man. Appreciate you, bro. And appreciate you too, Queen. Thank you, Clabber, for the for the great inf- interview. And I'm gonna say the great convo, because it was a it was a conversation, man. Like we were just chilling, kicking it. You know what I mean? Like how we all like how we how humans we usually do. And now we're gonna kick it, we kicking it with the AIs now, okay guys. Listen, man, this is what it is, man. We in the present, but the present is the future, man. The future is now. On the blockchain podcast, we have for y'all. Hit that tap and subscribe button right back at you. Peace.